today we're diving into the ever roller coaster relationship of the one and only Cardi B and her on again, off again husband Offset. The big question on everyone's mind, like right now, are they back together or not? Let's unravel the latest chapter in Cardi B and Offset saga. But before we get into all of those details, hey kings and queens, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl royalty back with another celebrity relationship. Just to my returning subscribers, you guys at re MVP. I'm hoping you had a beautiful holiday. If you're new, you are so welcome. Please consider being a part of us by hitting the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell to not miss another video. Thank you. So, rewind to December 11 when Cardi B dropped a bombshell on Instagram Live announcing that she was single and ready to kick off 2024 with a fresh start. She claimed to have been dropping hints on social media, emphasizing her curiosity for a new life and beginning. This revelation followed upset denial of an affair with rapper Blueface's ex-girlfriend Christian Rock and the couple and following each other on Instagram classic breakup move you say but well sounds familiar not something we haven't seen before with this too but this time it seemed a little different because soon after rumors start to spread around the gram and online that offset has moved on to a new woman or new girlfriend like what he moved on real fast but hold up before this news, Offset did a video apologizing to Cardi B that he would like to spend Christmas with her, his story about his art, he has sinned against her and God and all of those things. Yeah, he said all of those, but then again, you would think that maybe a reconciliation was gonna happen between those two. But here comes the bloggers. The bloggers, of course, going on with this rumor of offset moving on to a new woman. And simultaneously with those rumors comes Cardi B's outburst and literal meltdown online. Oh, I really don't like doing the internet shit. I really, really don't like doing the internet shit. Because you will fucking talk to a nigga and a motherfucker will play in your fucking face. In your fucking face. Over and over and over and over and over again. And she'll be like, watch. Watch what I'm about to do. Watch what I'm about to say. And it's so fucking sad that a nigga likes to... Yo, this motherfucker really likes to play games with me when I'm at my most vulnerable time. When, I, when I'm not the most confident, they like, he likes to play games with me because he knows I'm not an easy girl. He, he knows yesterday I could have been out, I could have been chilling, I could have been this and that. He knows I'm in my house. He knows that I'm chilling. He knows I'm not doing the most. And I've really been sparing you. I've really been sparing you. You've been fucking feeling yourself, you bitch ass nigga, because of your bitch ass album and shit. And you've really been fucking doing me dirty after so many fucking years that I motherfucking hope your ass. Not even a fucking thank you that I got for your bitch ass. And it's so crazy that I gotta go to the fucking internet because whenever the fuck I tell you something, you don't say shit that seriously. And I'm so tired of it. Whoops, that was a lot. She said a lot. She did all that and that was really dramatic and messy and in her own words she even said she didn't like to bring it to the ground but yep she did. After all of those that happened you would think that it's over this time between this two but fast forward to Christmas Eve and Cardi B flaunts her lavish holiday decorations complete with separate Christmas tree for her and Offset 2 kids culture and wave customized with themes like Hello Kitty and Spider-Man. This tree screams holiday magic. Cardi also treats us to a video of herself dancing in front of a colossal fireplace. 
Hold on, you guys, though, because the plot thickens. On Christmas Day, Cardi B and Officer Troll are covered by being spotted together at their mansion. Videos and photos flood social media showing the couple and their kids opening presents. They even gifted their kids with separate Christmas trees, with culture getting a Hello Kitty themed tree and Wave getting a Baby Shark themed tree, with all their gifts under it. Hmm, a lavish Christmas. But here is the inside scoop. According to a source close to the couple, they aren't officially back together. Instead, they are cooperating, spending time together for the sake of their kids. Cardi B allegedly still has love for Upset, but isn't ready to forgive him for past mistakes. Um, bugging me and everything. And you know, I've been trying to work things out with my baby father for a hot minute now. And we're really good friends, and you know we're really good business partners. Or at least so we thought, but Cardi B quickly checks the rumor mongers by inciting that they are not back together. In a post on X, she shared, I must be a little toxic because I enjoyed cursing y'all out today, but we're not taking that into 2024. Now have a good day, no make it a bad day. Also for her New Year post, she said, What's love got to do with it? Happy New Year. So she's inciting that she's not back with Offset. She's focused on her career and happiness, taking things slow. You guys, we must remember that this is not just a relationship or a baby mama, baby daddy situation. It is an actual marriage. And we must also consider in our judgment and in the things that we're saying, and how this marriage was formed you also remember initially Cardi B did not even want to announce that she was married to Offset until TMZ leaked it so you guys you must also take into consideration the people in this union Cardi B's personality Offset personality and disabilities don't just change in a marriage again we do not know the details of their marriage even though they show us and flaunt a lot about your relationship on social media we still do not know the intricate details of their marriage. So before we make any hasty comments into the decisions that other people make in their marriage, we must take all of these things that I have said into consideration. We do not know that they are everyday living in their home as a couple. All the BS that one person can take in a marriage, another person cannot even take a quarter. So people are different. While some fans are pissed of how Cardi B is taking him back every time he messes up, you guys, this is a marriage. It's not something you just want to throw away. That does not mean once you stay in an abusive, emotionally abusive or marriage where they are being constantly disrespected, even by the Bible, it's okay to divorce when fornication is involved in marriage. When it has gone past from just adultery into fornication in a marriage, then both parties are free to go their separate ways. But before divorce, there's a, there is a phase called separation. And I feel like they might be in that phase, even though they might be doing stuff together, Christmas together for the sake of the kids. They might be in the phase of separation and separation in itself does not mean the marriage has ended. It could just be a time for each other to be away. And sometimes for some couples, they oftentimes realize their mistakes. They realize the good in the other person, what they're missing. And maybe, just maybe, they could come back together and leave a better marriage than the one they already had. And you guys, I tell you the truth, even though some of y'all may not like to hear this, any marriage outside of Christ is bound to face crisis. But when God is in the center of it, you're sure to overcome any impending challenges and trials that your marriage or relationship will, will be faced. But first, it matters how we get into the union. We must come into the union the right way, with the right knowledge, with understanding of each other, our lifestyles, and just do marriage the way God has instituted marriage. 
So for Cardi B and Offset, even though there might still be love between these two, however, some fans aren't buying it. They claim Cardi B and Offset are toying with emotions secretly back together. This isn't the first time they've split and reunited. Remember September 2020 divorce filing that Cardi called off after a grand gesture from Offset? You guys, the fan debate rages on. Should Cardi B and Offset stay together or move on? I don't know why anybody would be so invested in the celebrity marriage and relationship life to the point of saying their emotions are being toyed with. Your emotions and other people's marriage, guys. We're about to get into 2024. In as much as we like to share this news with y'all, everyone needs to take a chill. I mean, a little bit of chill with how much we invest our emotions into other people's lives but you guys this duo got married since 2017 and share a bond that's seemingly breakable but is it time to let go you guys share your thoughts in the comment section and as always thank you so much for watching if you got to this point of the video do not forget to like share subscribe and turn on the post notification bell to not miss another video and until the next one remember to pray walk out walk smart and slay <laughs> Bye bye